Now, we offer layers in Gravity Sketch, and layers can be used for various things, such as the transparency here on the windshield of this car. To access your layers, click on the menu button, select layers, and of course layers has a grab bar, so you can grab that off and pull it into your space. And we have the layers set up on this vehicle here, where you can adjust the visibility of the stroke, so that's the first layer. The windshield, which is the second layer, and the glass. As well as the, the last layer here, which is some of the harder shapes in the, in the scene. You can delete individual layers by clicking delete and clicking once again on the trash can. You can also cancel that delete. And the light bulb relates to the active layer. You can also lock layers. So if I lock all of the layers, there's nothing I can grab in the scene. I also end up with a warning that tells me that I have no activated layers to sketch on. If I wanted to move things from one layer to the next, simply find the object you'd like to move. So we want to move, I want to move this little piece of light here. So I'll grab this, and I can grab it into a third layer here. And once I release, it will populate into that layer. If I go invisible, it goes with the layer. You could do the same thing here with the hood. So I'm going to put this into a layer that's semi-transparent. And now I have a transparent hood. And you could add layers by clicking the plus sign. Once you've added a layer, that layer becomes active. You could change the name of that layer by clicking on the tag. And we'll label this one. So it's very easy to add layers, remove layers, move content around on layers. And it's another feature in Gravity Sketch which is always improving with every update. So stay on the lookout for the next features and layers.